What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. You read the title so you already know today's video is a multi-store Christmas shop with me. I'm starting off at the Dollar Tree and I'm really excited because I've actually never shopped at the Dollar Tree for Christmas decor but I've heard it's the place to be so I'm hoping that we'll find some good stuff. If not you guys know I will go to another Dollar Tree until I find some Christmas stuff. I'm also planning to stop by Target and potentially Walmart and Hobby Lobby. We're just gonna go to a bunch of different stores and then at the end, I'm gonna do a huge haul for you guys of everything I picked up for the Christmas decor. This is kind of on a budget because I did lose my job because of COVID-19. I was laid off from Disney. If you guys have been here for a while, then you guys probably already know that, but if you haven't, Hello, my name is Katie, I live in Orlando, and I was a cast member at Disney World, but because of COVID-19, I lost my job. But honestly, it was a blessing in disguise because it helped me start up my YouTube channel again. It just gave me that motivation to start my YouTube channel back up. So if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. I will link some more of my videos down in the description below, but I would love it if you guys subscribe. But like I said, this video is going to be a multi-store Christmas shop with me. The vibe for Christmas this year is like, I like traditional Christmas, so like reds and greens, and there will be Ray Dunn sprinkled in there because I have a big Christmas Ray Dunn collection. If you guys wanna see a video of my entire Ray Dunn Christmas collection, definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I have a lot of Christmas Ray Dunn, and I feel like that would be something that you guys would want to see. I don't really collect that much anymore, but I've definitely accrued a lot of Christmas stuff over the last few years when I was actively hunting. So if that's something that you guys wanna see, make sure you leave me a comment down below and just let me know. But like I was saying, the vibe this year is a little bit of like traditional Christmas decor mixed with like bohemian neutral so I don't really know how that's all gonna work um, but I definitely need to get a bit of more like neutral stuff like wooden trees and like snowflakes and that sort of thing because I want it to be like more like white and neutral with the traditional Christmas sprinkled in also looking for stuff for a cocoa bar um, and who knows you know we'll just be perusing the stores and I'll definitely show you guys everything that I find and like I said the haul will be at the end but I don't want to keep blabbing on because I know what you guys came here for you guys came to see me shop and see what I picked up so I'm gonna go ahead and stop blabbing and we're just gonna go ahead and get shopping I just got into the store and the Christmas stuff seems to be right when you walk in. Um, I don't, it's a lot of like florals and stuff for trees specifically and not necessarily decor. Well, it is decor, but not like a lot of stuff that I can put on like a shelf and stuff, but I need to keep searching because like I said, I just walked in. These caught my eye and definitely made me laugh because we absolutely had these on our chairs at home growing up. We had like snowman one and Santa hat one, so that definitely made me smile. And they have these little things that you can stick in your lawn outside. They have a lot of different ones to choose from, as well as doorknob hangers. They also have a really big selection of ornaments, and I like too that it seems to be broken up by like color. So they have a lot of like gift boxes like for gift cards, gift bags, gift boxes, like the ones that you would put like clothes in and stuff. They have a lot of stuff like that. And then a lot of outside decorations, like I said, that's definitely the majority of what they have. They also have a big selection of arts and crafts stuff. Um, and then they also have a big selection of stuff to decorate a mini tree and they also have mini trees. And for a dollar, that is such a good deal. They also have this mini village stuff, which is really, really cute. I feel like that mini village would be perfect for like a little kid. If you have an adult one that's all glass, you could start them with one from the Dollar Tree that's plastic and not gonna break as easy. And they can just have their own little mini village. And I don't know, I just feel like kids would love that. I am super impressed with their arts and crafts section. I really love these stockings. 
where the kids can like color them in the stockings and the bags and they just have a lot of really really cute stuff like they have like fake snow and like all the different garlands and little things that you can stick onto everything and then these giant like trees gingerbread men snowmen i just think those are so cute i definitely think this would be the perfect place to go to get arts and craft stuff for kids that way if they mess up you can get another one and it's super cheap okay heading out of the dollar tree trying not to get hit by a car heading out of the dollar tree and i didn't end up getting anything um i do think that they're still putting a lot of their stuff out so i want to go ahead and check a dollar general that's right in this area as well as another dollar tree and then head to some other stores i definitely know that they're gonna have cute stuff i just need to go and hunt it down I feel like I definitely recognize a lot of like the gift boxes and those sorts of things. Um, my mom definitely buys a lot of like gift boxes and gift bags from there, which honestly is so smart because they just get thrown away. Like you don't need to spend a lot of money on like wrapping paper and like gift wrap and gift boxes because most of the time they honestly just get torn open and ruined and then you just throw them away. So I would definitely recommend going there. And then like I said, for the kids crafts, definitely, definitely go there. And then for like the kids crafts, I would definitely go there as well because they have so many options and you can pick up a bunch and I know sometimes like kids if they feel like they messed up they want to start over so you could buy like multiple of each and then they could do it a couple different times and I don't know I just feel like that would be a good place to do that but like I said I'm gonna head to I'm gonna try a Dollar General I don't even know if I've ever been to a Dollar General store so I'm gonna try a Dollar General and then we're gonna try to find another Dollar Tree and then we're gonna move on to a different store okay curveball I just found a family dollar right next to Dollar General and Dollar Tree they're literally all in the same like third of a mile so we're gonna go inside family dollar and see if they have anything Christmas I'm not sure I've never seen anyone talk about family dollar in these videos so we're gonna go and we're gonna check it out stuff here um, and the employee told me that they had more stuff here in the back so I just got to the back and they have some really cute stuff something to keep in mind though is it's not like Dollar Tree everything is not a dollar so things can be like five dollars ten dollars three dollars similar to the Target dollar spot they have these cute little like burlap wrapped bottles with trees that light up I like that a lot they have this candle that has three different flavors going on that's really cute they have a lot of really nice floral arrangements as well. I really, really like this one in the galvanized pot. And these are a great deal. These are just $5. Worth noting too is a lot of stuff is not unpacked yet. Which makes sense because it's still October. <laughs> also have some trees. So they have this like six foot pre-lit white tree that's really cute for 30 bucks. And then this six foot white tree that is not lit for 20 bucks. I might have already said that. <laughs> that brings up a good point. Um, I recommend that you buy your trees unlit. And I know a lot of people disagree with that, but I just feel like they last longer because if one bulb goes out, it's really difficult to figure out on a pre-lit tree which one it is. And then I just feel like the whole tree just doesn't last as long and it gets ruined. So I always recommend getting your trees unlit and just stringing the lights on it yourself. It only takes like an extra 10 to 15 minutes and I feel like it makes your tree last way longer if you buy a fake tree. Growing up, we always had real trees. But here in Florida, it just takes them too long, in my opinion, to get the real trees. So I just always have a fake tree and then like a balsam candle or a wallflower behind it in the outlet, plugged in where the lights are as well. So that's just my recommendation. Pre-lit trees, leave me a comment down below if you like real trees, fake trees, and if you buy them pre-lit or unlit. This is really, really cute too. It's like a listed as a tabletop wreath, but that is super, super cute. Then they have these like $3 floral arrangements. They're all like a little bit different. Um, but they just come in these little white vases. These are really cute and they have a lot of variety. Down there too is a box that's labeled garland. They have not put that out yet. And then down here they have some decorated wreaths and these are actually so nice. Like I would buy that and put it on our front door. Like I'm actually considering it. It's really, really nice. Here's another tree, a four foot green tree. You could easily put that in your kid's room or if they're into like the sparkle tinsel trees, they have those two for 15 bucks. I'm really liking these candle holders too. They're glass and this one says ho 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 and merry and bright. I like those a lot. Those are something I would definitely pick up if I didn't already have so much red Ray Dunn stuff. I just don't need any more red glass stuff. I have too much. And then something that they have here that I didn't see at the Dollar Tree is outdoor lights. I just saw more like outdoor decorations decorations so this is an option if you aren't able to find them at Target or if they're just not a good deal 
you can come and check Family Dollar. They still have really, really cute fall and Thanksgiving stuff. Like, I'm in love with these little birds, and then I love this little white pumpkin as well. It's too bad I'm not looking for more fall stuff right now. Just left Family Dollar. They have some really, really cute stuff. I could tell that a lot of their stuff is not out yet, but judging based off of the fall stuff that they have, I would say that they're gonna have really, really cute Christmas stuff as well. The stuff that they have out already is really cute, um, but I feel like they're gonna have more like ceramic stuff and little things that I'm looking for to decorate my spaces. So it's definitely a store that I'm gonna check back to in probably about a week. It's just so hard because it goes from fall to Christmas like overnight, and it's just so hard because if you don't go, then you miss out. So I just need to keep checking back to all these stores, but we're not gonna waste any more time here. We're gonna head over to the Dollar General and see if they have anything for Christmas there. Um. JK, I guess Family Dollar took over the Dollar General, so I need to figure out where we're gonna go next. Okay, I've made it to my next destination. Can you guess where it is? <laughs> I came in just to check the dollar spot. Liar! That's what I say now, but literally I will not be in here for more than 15 minutes. because I want to go to a lot of stores. But I'm gonna show you guys what they have because I actually haven't been to this one yet to check their dollar spot. So we're gonna see what they have. Okay, it's like Groundhog's Day. They always have the same stuff. Oh, this one has the exact same stuff. The only thing that I found that's different are gingerbread and peppermint scented hand sanitizer. There's another one too, Winter Wonderland hand sanitizer and Fresh pine hand sanitizer. It honestly looks like they did sell out of a lot of it, but they do have these. These ones are really, really freaking cute. Okay, but I am noticing something very interesting that's making me really excited. They moved all of the Halloween candy up to the dollar spot, which in my eyes can only mean one thing. I think the Christmas display is probably up or in the works of being up, so we need to go check right now. I can't even explain to you how disappointed I am to see this sign. Okay, so obviously that Christmas stuff is not out, so let's go and check like magnolia and stuff. And sorry I picked the most annoying cart in the whole store. They do have some stuff, the stockings and the little candles and some pillows. It just looks like either a lot of it got bought or they're just starting to put it out. I kind of want this because I'm going to do a hot cocoa bar, but I think it just sits too short. And if anyone else has the Hobby Lobby shelf like me, you'll know it has like a pretty thick lip and it'd be really hard for me to figure out how to stand something like this up to be as tall as I need it to be. I just found a whole aisle of Christmas stuff that I haven't seen yet at any other Target, so I'm really, really excited. But there's an employee in there and I don't want to scare him, so. Okay, they have a few things that go along with those pillows I showed you in my last Target video. So this must be, I know it's some people's style, like I said, it's just not mine. Okay guys, so I was vlogging in the aisle and I just made a new friend. He actually works here and he also has a channel, so I wanted him to shout out his channel for you guys. My channel is Trendy Fella Trail. Um, it's Trends by Trendy. I will go ahead, why is it getting so bright? <laughs> I will go ahead and link his channel for you guys down in the description below, so definitely check his channel out and tell him that I sent you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You got it. Here is some stuff I have not seen. These are actually candles. These are so cool, especially for like a tablescape. I love those. This is really pretty as well for a tablescape. They have so much nice stuff for tablescapes right here. I especially also love this with like the wood and the white. That is definitely the vibe we are going for, people. Here is another Christmas counter that they have here. Last year they had this and it was white. It looked a little bit different, but the same exact idea. I know because I picked it up for my friend and this is really, really cute. They kind of do a different variation of this every single year. Okay, 
I absolutely love this pillow. It has a pocket in it where you can put letters to Santa. That's really cool. Okay, I'm definitely understanding the vibe now of like that wreath, the pillows. It's the Opal House stuff. Like, how did I not realize that? I didn't even notice the tag. It is cute, like I said, but I don't know. I feel like I'm like more traditional Christmas and I don't know, the pinks and the different colors just throw me off. They have a lot of really cute like quilted plushy pillows and blankets. A new blanket or throw is always one of my favorite gifts because there's nothing I love more than cuddling up on the couch with my dogs and Brian. So, you know, if you're watching this and you want to get me a gift, a new blanket maybe? These are beautiful too. They are like glass with gold on the bottom. I don't know if you're meant to put like a light over it or what, but they have like really ornate details on them. These are really, really pretty. And the small one is $14.99 and the big one is $31. They have a lot of greenery and wreaths, a lot of like pine cones with like flocked pine. That's really popular, I guess, this year. And then this really sparkly pine cone wreath is also catching my eye. I like this a lot. The aisle is still pretty bare and the really nice employee that I just met told me that they're still just starting to put everything out. So I'm definitely just gonna keep checking back as much as I possibly can. Okay, they're also still putting out a bunch of new stuff. So more cranberry wreaths, nutcrackers, snow globes, that sort of thing. On my way out now, but I just wanted to show you these like soap and tray sets that they have. This one is really, really cute. So if you like to decorate your bathrooms, they have even more stuff than the last time I showed you my other Target video. Bunch of like mats and soap dispensers. This little nutcracker is so, so cute. And they're not plastic. They're like, I don't know. They're like really thick and they feel super durable. I'm gonna go ahead and check out with the items that I'm buying here. <laughs> and then we're gonna head to more stores. Okay, I lied. I want to show you one more thing that people are raving about on Instagram So I wanted to show it to you guys that way if you're interested you could go out and get it while they still have it These sandal slippers these fuzzy sandal slippers are extremely Popular right now on Instagram. They're really really cute, but honestly, I'm just not a slipper person But I wanted to go ahead and show them to you They're only ten dollars and everyone on Instagram is freaking out about them Okay, so I'm leaving Target and right next to this particular Target is a Burlington And I don't know if they'll have a lot of Christmas decor But you know, I might as well look while I'm right here and just show you guys in case you have one near you Places like this sometimes end up being a huge hidden gem, and Burlington, in my opinion, is kind of like Ross or TJ Maxx, so let's go check it out. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way, and oh, this time of year, we come to They have a lot of stuff. I'm really glad I came in here. Okay, I'm hoping somebody else will know exactly what I'm talking about. But does this not look like the gift that Martha Mayhuvier made for the Grinch? In the Grinch. <laughs> it's exactly what this looks like. Okay, so at this store, they have a lot of Christmas floral. I know I said I don't really like pink stuff, but this is actually really calling my name. It's really, really cute. And then just a lot of like garland and wreaths and a lot of different stuff. They also have tons of pillows that are really cute and a really good deal. A lot of different pillows. This one is kind of calling my name. Okay, I freaking love this one. I think I need it. It's like silver trees, silver and gray trees. This is really, really cute. It's $16.99. These candle holders are catching my eye too. These are super nice and they have a lot of different like varying heights and some of them are even beaded. These are super, super nice. The tall one is just $6.99. I like these a lot. And then the smaller one is $4.99. I'm having regrets about touching that tree. This glitter will not come off. They also have a good selection of candles here too and I feel like they're cheaper than they are at Home Goods. This one reminds me of one that you would find at Anthropology. I like this one a lot. It's just really pretty in general. And it smells like cinnamon scone, which is right up my alley, and it's only 10 bucks. It's so pretty. I also have ones like this that remind me a lot of Bath and Body Works, and these are only $5.99. And then they have this bigger one that's $7.99, and this one is caramel apple pie, and it smells so freaking good. I'm not here to look at regular decor. I'm not here to look at regular decor. I'm not here to look at regular decor. Oh, more candles. <laughs> 
It's so hard for me to not look at regular decor because me and Brian just found out that we're actually gonna be moving in January. We're gonna get our own place, just the two of us, and we're really, really excited. And we're actually gonna go um, like house hunting, apartment hunting tomorrow. And I'm just trying not to look at any of the decor, but I want all of it because I'm trying to like put together our new place in my head, like what it's gonna look like. And I can't wait to do all the decorate with me videos. So if you're excited for those videos and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so you don't miss those coming up in the beginning of the new year. Okay, that was just a quick peek inside Burlington. I didn't buy anything that was Christmas or anything, but I did see a lot of really cute stuff. And their floral section, like their fake plants was on point. I'm definitely gonna be going back there when we move into our new place. Just got into Marshalls and it's way more packed than it was the other day so I'm super, super excited to show you guys everything they have. First of all, so many gnomes. They have these really cool like felt trees. Every store has really, really cool trees this year, like different materials, like this felt one is so nice. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. It's a cookie jar, a gnome cookie jar. They have a huge selection of Christmas candles, and these big ones are only $12.99. They're really cute and decorative. I really, really like this like white plushy tree skirt. Last year though, I purchased like the tree basket from Hobby Lobby, and I still really love that, so I'm just gonna keep using that. But those tree skirts are super, super nice too. They have a lot of like reusable paper plates, a lot of Ray Dunn stuff little Merry Christmas napkins and plates. And then I really like these trees back here too. These are really pretty. They have definitely the best pillow display that I've seen. I really like this one. I like this one a lot. They have so many like rugs, pillows, blankets. Like I turned around and there was like a million more pillows and just so many throw blankets. I want all of them. Hello. As you can see, I'm definitely racing the sun here and the clock. All the stores here close at eight and it is seven and there's three more stores I wanna go to to show you guys what they have. And the next one is Big Lot. I have never shopped here at all, not even for Christmas decor and they have a huge Christmas selection already out. on Big Lots. Have you guys ever been here? Like, I've never been here before. They have the cutest stuff. This could be dangerous. This giant wooden snowflake is really catching my eye. I love that. I'm not exactly sure like where I would put it because it's really, really big, but it's really pretty and it's only $20. Please say a prayer for my debit card. A moment of silence for my debit card. Luckily, the more aisles I go down, the more like traditional Christmas it gets. But I have several things in my cart, <laughs> so. Found some more like outdoorsy stuff, like stuff you put outside. This one is really, really cute, like the farm fresh Christmas trees. I like that a lot. Really cute tablescape stuff, like the placemats are really cute. Just so much stuff, like I'm literally in shock. 
And then here is a look at some of their Christmas tree stuff. So some Christmas tree inspiration for you guys. And my Christmas tree decorate with me will be up really, really soon. So make sure you're subscribed. In this store, I'm in even more of a predicament where I'm like, don't look at the home decor, don't look at the home decor, stay at the Christmas because they have such cool stuff here. They have like furniture and like all this other stuff. I can't wait to come back here, but I'm just gonna stick with the Christmas because I'm just gonna get myself into trouble. <laughs> but I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Okay, I just paid up Big Lots, still racing the clock, heading into the second to last store and it is Hobby Lobby. I didn't buy anything the first time I came, but I think I kind of already know what I want. They definitely have even more stuff than last time. Okay, you know I had to come back to my favorite aisle <laughs> from when I did my video before. Everything in this aisle and on the other side is literally to die for. Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated. So, do you guys remember the hot cocoa sign that I held up in the very beginning of my Hobby Lobby Christmas decor video. I'm looking for it everywhere and I can't find it. I am living with quite a few things but not my hot chocolate sign and I'm really sad about it. But I learned my lesson. I should have bought it last time because now it's sold out. And I can always go to another Hobby Lobby or order it online. But I need that for a future video coming up so I'm definitely gonna have to hunt it down. Okay, it is 8.08. They were literally shutting the lights off on me in Hobby Lobby because I was searching for that sign. I'm just gonna go to another Hobby Lobby, but I think Ross is open until 10. Oop. So we're gonna check Ross too. It looks like this is all the Christmas stuff that Ross has so far. But of course I'm gonna just double check, but I'm not seeing anything. They have a lot of Christmas dog toys, <laughs> but I don't see any Christmas home decor. They still have some like Halloween and fall stuff, but yeah, no Christmas stuff yet at Ross. Dang, Ross is late to the game. Oh well, gonna head home, have some dinner. Oh, I found it. I found it on the way out. <laughs> I found it on the other side of the store. Okay, it's not much, but they do have like a little middle end cap with like some tree skirts, pillows some glassware that's really really cute I like that a lot with Santa's legs little cake stand but honestly that's it just this one aisle and then they have the middle one too with like some gnomes and stuff but like I was saying before I found that stuff I am going to head home and have dinner and then I'm gonna do my haul for you guys I can't wait to show you guys everything I got and I'm even more excited to do a few decorate with me videos super pumped about it but I can't wait to show you guys everything I got the next day alrighty guys it is the next day yesterday I just it was too dark and I don't know I just didn't feel like I would be able to film the haul I had to eat dinner when I got home those sorts of things so it's the next day and I'm so excited to show you guys everything I got I'll also be letting you guys know where everything is from and I'll also be trying to link everything below if I can I will definitely put links down below for you guys so go ahead and check the description box for that the first store we will kind of go in order of stores that I went to that I purchased stuff from. I did not buy anything from Family Dollar or the Dollar Tree. They just didn't have anything yet that I wanted, but I'm gonna keep checking back at those stores. So then the next store I went to that I did buy stuff from is Target. So let me go ahead and show you what I got from Target. Okay, the first thing I got in Target I did show in the video and it was this little plaid tree. I just thought that this tree was so cute. I did grab two of like the solid gray ones in my other Target shop with me Christmas decor video, um, but I just didn't see this one when I went last time, so I had to pick this one up. It was only $3, so that was a really, really good deal. I'm dying for my Target to get more stuff in the dollar spot. They don't really have anything right now at all three of the Targets that I've been to, but I'm gonna keep checking it. So I did pick up this from Target yesterday. And then the other thing I picked up from Target was just a Mrs. Myers peppermint scented hand soap. We actually have a refillable hand soap dispenser that's also from Target, it's really cute. It was from the Hearth and Hand line, I think, the fall line, but it is refillable and we're running out of soap, so I had to get one that was more festive. So I grabbed the peppermint one, but I also smelled the orange and clove one while I was there and that one smells really, really, really good too. Probably gonna pick one of those up for when we run out of this one. So then after Target, where did I go? I went to Burlington. I didn't pick up anything at Burlington. 
And then I went to Marshall's and I didn't pick up anything at Marshall's either. I almost got that gingerbread pillowcase, but then the line was really long and I was super in a rush to like make sure I got to all the stores so that I could give each one the time that it deserved because a lot of them I hadn't shopped at for Christmas decor before. So I didn't grab anything at Marshall's and then the next store I went to was Big Lots. This was probably my favorite new discovery store. If you guys have not Christmas shopped at Big Lots or decor shopped, they have really cute stuff. They also have like furniture. It reminded me a lot of like a TJ Maxx almost because they had like really nice furniture, decor, they also had food. I was just really surprised about all the stuff they had there and I never even knew that it existed. But anyways, I picked up like three or four things from Big Lots and all of them I'm so in love with and can't wait to show you guys how I'm gonna decorate with them. But the first thing I got is this Merry Christmas sign. I am in love with this sign. It was the last one and I'm really glad that I picked it up. It's, it's a good size too, you can see it compared to me, but it's a great size sign and it's really nice. It's made out of wood and has a little like hangy thing on the back. And this was $14. I feel like this was a really, really good deal. I feel like at Home Goods this would be closer to like $20. So I love this. Definitely go to Big Lots and check this out and pick one up if you like it too. Another find that I loved was this table runner. This table runner was only $12 and it's more neutral, but it's still Christmassy and I loved the plaid vibes. It was definitely what I'm going for this holiday holiday season. It also has cute little tassels at the bottom. I still have the plastic on them, um, but this was only $12 and I just think that this is the cutest thing ever. Definitely go and pick this up. They also had a lot more to choose from. I showed them briefly when I was shopping at Big Lots, um, but they had a lot more to choose from. More like traditional Christmas ones. They also had like blue snowy icy ones and then they had ones like this. So this is the one that I picked up. And then the last thing I picked up is a little bit noisy, but I picked up this We Wish You a Merry Christmas sign. It has these like dangling trees on this like beaded garland this is gonna go so well with a lot of stuff that I already have because I have a lot of this beaded garland that I already used to decorate with all the times of the year but also at Christmas on my hutch oh my gosh these things are just like dangling and <laughs> being super loud but this is the third and actually the last thing that I picked up at Big Lots and this was only $10 so definitely head to Big Lots. It's a hanging one again. You can hang it with the string or with like the metal picture frame hanger thing, but it just like won't stop clanging around. Okay, wait, that's better. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last sign that I picked up at Big Lots. I just can't say enough like how impressed I was at their Christmas decor selection. Definitely go there if you have one in your area, but if not, I'm gonna try to link all the stuff below like I said. So cute. The next store I headed to after Big Lots was Hobby Lobby and then I feel like I went a little crazy. I had already shopped there before in my Hobby Lobby Christmas decor shop with me so I already had an idea of what I wanted. So it was pretty fast for me to pick everything up because I just went straight to the aisles and I knew all the stuff that I wanted was in. And I'm just so excited about everything that I got. It was all 50% off as well. So I just feel like it was all a really good deal. It's just little stuff that I can use to decorate like shelves and little like alcove areas. I feel like that's what really makes a difference when you're Christmas decorating. Plus, like I said, I'm really trying to change up the vibe of my Christmas decor this year. So I think that with the stuff I already bought and this stuff, it will just hopefully blend really well with the stuff that I already have. But let me go ahead and show you what I got because it's all really cute and I feel like you guys are gonna like it too. So the first thing I grabbed was this green tree. It is like ceramic, I think. It's hollow on the inside. This was $12.99 but half off, so it was like $6.50. And I would say it's about a foot tall. They had a couple different sizes and it is a little bit metallic, but I just loved this. I love the color. I love the color sage green and I'm trying to like bring a lot of that in like softer greens as opposed to like Ah, Christmas green. So this was the first thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby. The next two things I grabbed, like I said in the beginning, were little snowflakes. I said I wanted to get snowflakes to put all over my house. So I got a smaller one and a bigger one, and I'll probably get a few more, but I wanted to just start with these two and see if I like the way that they look, if I want to get the even larger size one, because this also had a couple different sizes to choose from. The smaller one was $4.99, so it was only $2.50, and then the bigger one was $7.99, so it was like $4. So such a good deal. I think Hobby Lobby has the best deals and I'm really sorry for all of my viewers who are in Canada and you can't shop their online website I'm really sorry hopefully someday when you come to the States you can um, go to Hobby Lobby I tried to link it for someone and then they couldn't shop online either from Canada they wouldn't ship there so I'm really sorry this is the next little guy that I picked up this really pretty wooden reindeer they also had a couple sizes of this I guess just with Hobby Lobby I assume they have a couple sizes of everything but I picked up this little reindeer and I'm absolutely in love with it this little reindeer was 10 bucks, so I only paid five because it was 50% off. I'm really in love with the next thing that I got. 
this tree i'm absolutely in love with it it was 14.99 so it was like seven dollars and i'm just absolutely obsessed with it it has these little like bubbles on it like in the wood and i didn't notice this little thing it's like an imperfection in the wood which is natural because it's wood but i almost wanted to go back and like try to find another one because it like made my brain hurt I don't know I'm just a weird perfectionist with stuff like this <laughs> but they were literally shutting the lights off at Hobby Lobby because I was running around trying to look for something else like I said the hot cocoa sign um, but I didn't have time to like switch it out but I love it and I know that like once it's in my decor I'm not gonna like fixate on it hopefully so this is the next thing that I picked up is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen <laughs> it's a pine cone and it is a little bit sparkly it's actually kind of heavy it feels like another like ceramic -y type maybe plastic i'm not sure pine cone and i just love using little stuff like this all over i have a lot of other pine cones that are like real pine cones that i stick in stuff so i wanted to pick up this really oversized one it literally looks like a hedgehog it really does i was walking past and i just couldn't resist this little sign it's just a little it's the most wonderful time of the year sign and this is a little bit glittery but i don't know i just love little signs like this and it's just a lot of the color scheme that i'm going for so i had to pick this up this was really cheap too it was 7.99 so i got it for around four bucks i also grabbed more little filler trees i love these i got a green one too this one's really cute this one was 2.99 so i only paid a dollar fifty this big one that is like it's interesting it's like made out of sticks i kind of have to fix it it looks like it gets like moved around almost like a fig tree you know how you have to like rearrange the branches i might have to do it with this but this bigger one was 8.99 so i got it for like 450 and then these tiny tiny little ones were two were 3.99 so i got them for two dollars but just a bunch of filler stuff this stuff is just important for me to have and then the last thing that i picked up at hobby lobby and the last thing i actually picked up because i didn't get anything at ross is this little towel i just love decorating all the parts of my kitchen so i like to grab a lot of these towels i already have have a lot of Christmas ones but they do kind of get like kind of gross over the years because I make sure that all of my stuff is functional not decor but some decor like my Ray Dunn stuff I try to make it functional so I will actually be using this while I'm cooking in the kitchen and it just says farm fresh Christmas trees and it's just really neutral but it has that pop of red with the gray and I don't know I just really liked it so I picked this up alrighty guys well that is gonna be it for my eight store budget friendly Christmas decor shop with me I hope that you guys love this video it was so fun for me to film I love Christmas decor shopping obviously and so I wanted to take you guys along with me and I wanted to do all budget friendly stores because I know that there's a lot of people like me out there who are kind of struggling right now lost their jobs in between jobs for load laid off because of COVID so I wanted to go ahead and do a budget friendly version I hope that you guys loved everything that I got and loved shopping with me today if you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up go ahead also and leave me any video recommendations that you might have down below and I will see you next time bye guys <laughs>